Everyone can play Fortnite on a NVIDIA 40 series or AMD 7000 series GPU. But can you run Fortnite on NVIDIA's 6 series GPU as well? I will attempt to do exactly that on my NVIDIA GTX 660M GPU. It is more or less on the opposite end of the GPU performance spectrum as compared to the RTX 4090. In my previous video I listed 5 reasons why gamers don't need to have the newest or most powerful GPUs which are available. With this video I want to drive home the reason number 4 from the previous video which is the presence of graphics settings in PC games. And surprise surprise, they are not there to have uh, every, once, every one of them set to ultra. So let's look at my hardware first. Right now, I'm using my 10-year-old Asus ROG G55 VW gaming laptop. When new, it looked like this. My thinking is that I simply want to play Fortnite a little and I'm not willing to buy the most powerful but also pricey GPUs available. I only need to have something capable of handling Fortnite at somewhat reasonable FPS and resolutions. After all, this laptop is able to handle its internal full HD and two external 4K monitors with each with 60 Hz each, all at the same time. It has a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 660 mobile graphics card. The GPU is a GK107 using the Kepler architecture and built using 28 nanometers lithography. The memory size is 2 GB of GDDR5 memory. The CPU is a third generation Intel Core i7 quad core mobile processor. It is built using 22 nanometers lithography. The whole system is using 16 GB of DDR3 memory. So to get an understanding uh, of the performance of this GPU, let's look at some relative performance numbers. So when you click on this lookup button, you end up in Tech Powerups GPU database. This shows, for example, recommended gaming solutions, theoretical performance in, I mean, it says here gigaflops, not teraflops, like the modern graphics cards. And there is a relative performance bar chart, and it is always set to the GPU which you are looking at. So in this case, GTX 660M is set to 100%. So when we, for example, want to compare it to the, let's say, the 3060, RTX 3060 Ti, we see that uh, the, RT, uh, the 3060 Ti is around 17 and a half times as powerful as the GTX 660M. And I would like to see the 4070 Ti in here, but this is not a Founders Edition card, so we are only Founders Edition cards. But uh, we, for example, see the RTX 4090, with, which is 47 times as powerful. I think the 4070 Ti would be somewhere between the 3090 and 3090 Ti, so maybe 30 times more or less as as fast and as powerful as the GTX 660M. I mean, imagine the, this performance gap and think about it for a minute. How much do you think this will really, uh, is this really worth from a practical point of view of a gamer? Okay, moving on. Let's try to run, uh, let's try out how Fortnite runs on this machine and that's what we will do now and if you are thinking right now that I will have to reduce the graphics quality settings quite a lot you are correct game development studios however somehow need to take into account gamers owning a wide range of different GPUs as we just saw therefore I find it somewhat foolish to aim for maxing out settings I mean Sure, you can try out maxing out everything, but highest or ultra settings often consume vast amounts of compute power and some of them probably don't add that much to the experience. But I think this is not really a problem. On the contrary, 
This is an opportunity to save you some money. Therefore, no one should be afraid of lowering quality settings. Okay, are we there yet? So, what I am trying to accomplish is to find settings which target around 40 to 50 FPS. So, let's go to the settings. And here I already set the resolution to 1080p. Resolution is a huge consumer of compute power, therefore lowering it a little is always beneficial. VSync is set off to reduce the input lag a little, and in Fortnite we can, we <coughs> I'm sorry. We even have a so-called performance mode, which uh, specifically targets older hardware as it does not utilize elabor um, um, as it does not utilize elaborate graphics features, for example, from DirectX 12. Also, Nanite is deactivated, and I think this even cannot be turned on without using DirectX 12. I also reduced the viewing distance to medium and the textures to medium as well, but at least the 3D resolution is set to max. Okay, so let's play, I guess. So while the game loads, I will talk about reason number five from my previous video, which is entertainment value. What's the goal of playing a game? It is to entertain yourself. Sure, sometimes you want to see simply beautiful pictures, but often a huge part of the experience is independent of the hardware, at least when the minimum hardware requirements are met. One example is uh, the first place in the IGN Top 100 Video Games of All Time, which is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It runs on the Nintendo Switch with screen resolution of around 900p and 30 fps. So, don't feel bad about lowering graphics settings and instead think about if it will entertain you and if additional GPU power really adds that much to the experience. Okay, so, I mean, on this island we see 40 to 50 FPS, but I think this is not really representative. But again, in my opinion, content is more relevant than the hardware. And even at lowest settings, you still see everything essential, so... This should be no problem. Okay. Okay, so we see around 40 FPS when the whole island is inside. Thirty-five, thirty-one, FPS, twenty-eight, twenty-seven, twenty-one. I think was the lowest one. Okay, so already is, oh, someone is already here. Oh. Oh, put me already there. I must leave. Must leave, must leave, flee, flee. Okay, perhaps let's take the med kit first. Okay, and then, okay, what do we see? 47 FPS, 45 FPS. Someone is walking here. 
No one saw the chest yet. Heavy shotgun, assault shot fire. Oh man, I'm already down again. Okay, we see again, 50 FPS. We have here assault, assault rifle, tactical pistol. Okay, we see 40 FPS, 49, 50, there is someone, but I have not that good weapons, can we find something better in here? I mean we can at least find this, but we have no ammo. Okay, we see 60 FPS, 15, 16. Everyone dead? Okay, good. I think this was enough, enough of a demonstration. So I think we can leave now. Okay, so in this session we have seen that you can actually play Fortnite on a 10 year old uh, lowest spec hardware and that after some time you don't even think about the hardware underneath as long as you are able to uh, play at sufficient resolutions and FPS. So don't feel bad uh, when you don't own the uh, latest and greatest and most pricey GPUs available. Simply lower your settings a little, have fun and uh, save yourself a couple of bucks along the way. Feel free to watch my other video as well and uh, in case of questions, uh, sure, 
uh, surely you can ask me in the comment section. I am the Tech Wombat and this was the Wisdom of Wombats. Thanks for watching, take care and goodbye.